we all have been assigning or doing data entries in excel and majority of us have seen or done data entry in this manner although there is no harm or nothing wrong in doing the job in this manner but this method could be really painful if our table is wide and we have to horizontal scroll the table while doing the data entry but look at this data entry form this is an inbuilt feature of excel and as we do the data entry in this form and hit enter the data beautifully goes and sits in our data table with this data entry form no more horizontal scrolling moreover it also helps in searching records in the data table so in today's video we will see how we can work with data entry forms and that too without any formulas or vba programming so stay tuned hi i am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes so let's start i have a data table here and we want to do data entry in this table with the help of data entry form but the data entry form is nowhere in the ribbons to get this feature we need to go customize quick access toolbar right on the top here and click on more commands we need to change from popular commands to commands not in the ribbon and scroll down to the form and click add let's close this dialog box and we can see the new form icon available in our quick access toolbar before we use this let me tell you that there is a prerequisite to use this form and that is this form only works in the official excel table if we try to use this form outside the table it gives us error So now let us use this on our table and see this form has automatically picked up all our table headers and made a beautiful form out of it. We can use this scroll bar in the form to scroll through each record in our table. If we want to do data entry, we just need to scroll to the end and start typing. We can see here that we have field table but there is no field to do entry here. This is because we have applied formula in this column. and since this is to be auto calculated form smartly doesn't demand data here now before we look at the other features of this form let us do some data entry with the help of this form we need to type in each of the field and when we are done we just need to hit enter it is not necessary that enter will work only in the last field in fact whenever we hit enter it will save the record with whatever information is filled in the form So if we want to validate our data before it is saved in the table we can very well do that with the help of data validation So let us check this out We'll select our quantity column and go to data validation with keyboard shortcut alt a v v Well if you want to learn more this kind of shortcuts you can see my 10 episode series on top 50 keyboard shortcuts I have provided the link in the i button above Anyways back to our job we'll select whole number here so that the column only has numbers and set our min value to 1 and max value to 100 and close this so now when we go to our form and enter some text in quantity field and hit enter we can see this gives us error so in this manner we can control what kind of data enters our table with the help of data validation With this form we can not only do data entry but we can even search for our records. We just need to hit on this criteria button and the form switches from data entry form to search form. Let us search for records with amount greater than 250 and hit enter. With this find previous and find next buttons we can scroll within our search results. Once we are done with our search We just need to scroll to the bottom and we have blank form ready for data entry. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.